So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to burn aluminum with a match. So here we're, we have the burning match and then Mr. Algar is going to light the aluminum for us. And then as you can see, the aluminum is not combusting. So we can already tell that it is not very flammable. And the black suit on the aluminum, it can be inferred that the black suit is from the wood burning, not the aluminum burning. Because when you brush it off, it actually just comes off and the aluminum is still the same color and the same type of metal it originally was. Okay, so by knowing chemical and physical properties of substances, we can determine what to use them for. For example, aluminum might be good for using as, say, kitchen foil, like this piece of aluminum, because it is lightweight and it's uh, resistant to heat, and also it fold e folds easily, so it's good for kitchen purposes. However, knowing that the physical property of aluminum is that it is very malleable and that it is the chemical property of it is it also oxidizes very very rapidly um we can conclude that it's not meant for use with warships for example if i use aluminum for a warship then if it was hit by an object flying at a very high velocity then the heat of the object would cause the aluminum to ignite in white flame which would make the ship capsize. So we don't want that, right? So therefore, with these chemical and physical properties, we can determine the use of aluminum.